Hey, you people. Well, evidently they released the video of uh, these this cop getting shot and killed. Um, I like the way they wrote this. Deputy Callum was brutally shot to death by a violent criminal. The guy wasn't violent until they tased him and started putting hands on and tried to drag him out and being the typical tyrannical cops that we have nowadays. Instead of going after real criminals, they're out there just harassing people, trying to get income and revenue for cities. I'm so fed up with cops not being cops and just basically meter maids that are out there collecting money for the IRS and taxes justify their jobs. Let's look at the video. I want you to notice how nice and friendly the ponytail police cop is until the male guy shows up. And then she turns into Miss Power Hungry. I'm going to take you out of the vehicle. You're going to get out. Watch her little attitude change when she gets male officers there to, to do her bidding. Now that we're out of the way there, yeah, I'm sorry. that's all right. My name's Shelby. I work for the County Sheriff's Office. Right. I stop you not because you were all over the road. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't notice it. I, was okay. putting, I just put my hair up. Your hair Guy up. doesn't seem violent and out of control now. He says, "I'm sorry." Put your hair up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey. Uh, so, car smells like weed. So this guy is so violent and such a threat, she goes back to her car and she gets on the phone and, hey, we got a victim here and I smelled marijuana so now we can use force and we can yank him out of the car and we can use all our power and tyrannical tactics to get him out. And then when he shoots him, it's somehow he's a violent criminal. If more people push back like this on tyrannical cops, Maybe they would stop being so tyrannical. Just a thought. Uh, and he was in the opposite lane God. on Sevierville Road. I'm going to tell you this. Um, I am going to have you step out and hang out with me. Uh, Notice how violent and dangerous he is. She's leaning on the car, hands up, talking to him. Very dangerous and violent, if you listen to the narrative. Um, step out for what? So... I smell weed in the car. Have you ever I smoked no weed in this car? Nobody. I don't smoke or nothing. Okay, you don't yeah. smoke or nothing? No. Has anybody ever smoked nobody. in the car? Nobody. Okay. See how nice she is in treating him like a person? It's all fake. She's waiting for the male officers to come so she can become her true tyrannical self. Powered woman. Abusing her power. Okay, that's, that's I got you. Bogus, okay, man. well, I smell it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you step out and hang out with me. Okay, my partner's going to get here. I'm going to search as long as everything's good. I'll get you home. There ain't no weed in here. Nobody's okay. My partner's going to get here because I can't do anything by myself. And, uh, you know, they just put me out here because I have a ponytail and to make other women feel like we're just as good as men. And so that's why we have women cops. Perfect. No weed. That's... Don't do me like that now. Okay. You're on the wrong side no, of the road. That's why I stopped you. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Can you, man? I just need you to get out of the car, I'm brother. I'm getting out. Smoke so here's what's going to happen if you don't step out. Notice the attitude change? Second cop showed up. I might mention that he's bald. Uh, second cop shows up and immediately her attitude changes. Immediately. Smoke so here's what's going to happen if you don't step out of the car. I'm We're going to have to drag break. you out of the car. So now she's going to be tough. We're going to drag you out. I got back up now. These guys will do all the stuff. The one cop ends up getting dead. I don't even know if she's shot. She screams she's shot. Maybe she is. Maybe she isn't. I don't know. And then you're going to go to jail. I don't smoke so you can either step out of the car I or I can pull you out of the car. Notice the threats and the escalation and to jack him up and to treat him less as a person and to let him know that if he complies... They're probably going to beat the shit out of him and tase him anyway because that's what they do. Step out the car. She asked you, she, I, I, she asked you to get out of the car. Get out of the car. I'm not, no, don't, don't touch my car. Get out of the car. No, you can't do that. Get out of the car. You can't do that. You can't do this, man. Get out of the car. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me, man. Please. Now. Please get your hands off of me, please. Please. Get your hands off of me, please. Man, this guy's really violent sitting in his car with his seatbelt on and uh, saying, please, man, violent people. Wow. Get out of the car. I'm asking you to please stop. Get out of the car now. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Hey, get, out of the car. get out of the car, Kenny. Go ahead, Kenny. Out of the car. Get out of the car. 
tase him, electrical shock him. He's violent. They're not violent. They're being nice, kind public servants just, you know, trying to collect tax dollars. There's three of them there because there's no real crime that's going on. This female officer smelled marijuana. That's big crime. I posted a video when beware when people that just want to be left alone have had enough. At what point does this guy say he's enough enough? About right here. You're going to tase me? You're going to do all that? And this is the problem with cops January 6th where you peacefully protest and you end up in prison and your whole life is destroyed. If you're going to end up in prison with every police contact and your whole life is going to be destroyed, there's going to be men that are saying, you know what, if I'm going to go out and my whole life's destroyed, I'm taking you with me. This guy had enough. He was pushed to the brink. This didn't have to happen. They're making him be the violent guy. I see three Tarana cops being violent long before he was. But we don't want to talk about that. Notice the, the female officer that was all tough. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to drag you out. Remember all that tough talk? Here she is running. Right here. See her? Oh, look at that little ponytail swinging. How cute. How posh. How, how, what a great little experiment we're running here. Three thirty five shots fired. I'm hit. Three thirty four hit. So it looks like he's driving away. She's hiding. Help! Help! I've been shot. Help! Tell me what you need me to do. And here comes the back to blue citizens. You know th this person is going to be in a week from now. This person will get pulled over. They'll smell marijuana and they'll end up tasing and putting her in prison because that's the way law enforcement works now. I gotta get this one to help my partner. Is that your only place is in the leg? I think. That's all I feel. 335, I think I'm about to go unconscious. 344 is down, I can't get to him. So I'm thinking this guy probably sees this guy shot in the head. I don't know what his injuries were, but he, it seems like he's like, he's dead. I really can't help him. I'm right here. I'm She's okay. Right here. I'm okay. Take care of Greg. Take care of Greg. Take care of Greg. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't. Brother, I can't. I don't think I can Come on. Help me get her in the car. Help me get her in the car. In your car? Yeah, in my car. Right here. Right here. Oh, my God. Three, three. I got shot in the car. Four, 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 four. Yeah. I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt in the hospital. You know, if you'd have told me 10 years ago that I would be saying that seeing a cop shot and killed doesn't bother me a bit, I would have said, you're freaking out of your mind. I I, I, I mean, the, the fate of law enforcement is sealed because of what they do and how they treat decent people. They don't care about the community. They see everybody as the enemy. They treat everybody as the enemy. It's only about back the blue and their blue line and their orders. That's it. Nothing about the Constitution doing the right thing. Stop harassing people. Stop gathering money for government. Stop, you know, being tyrant. No, no, no. It's all about back the blue, us against you, you pesky citizens. And then they wonder why good people really don't give a shit when we see videos like this. Yeah, I know it sounds really cold and mean and angry and how can I call myself a conservative and American? Look, a real American is never going to back a tyrannical government or a tyrannical government supporter or a tyrannical government using their power to inflict pain, which is all cops do nowadays. All right, we'll end that there.